now I'm gonna go show my six-year-old my my cold girl makeup look hey guys it's Sam here today we are going to do the cold girl look I guess <laughs> if you are interested in seeing me do this look then continue watching if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button down below so you can come back and see more content like this so yes I was inspired to do this by my six-year-old because there's a part of me even though I'm doing YouTube and I'm doing lots of content that other people are doing there is a part of me that's like when everybody's doing it I don't want to do it and that is definitely the case with this trend I did not have any interest in doing it but my six-year-old was in the living room yesterday night and she's doing her own makeup and she's putting a blue shadow on and then she puts a white in her corner and she kind of blends it into the blue and she's like oh I wish I had a white lipstick to look very wintry and I was like you know what if a six-year-old seven-year-old can get into the cold weather look then I mean I need to stop being a child about it so I grabbed some products in my collection kind of like thinking what I want to do there was a this look seems to be very blush heavy so I was trying to think of like what color does I, do, does my complexion look when it's cold and I was looking at so many winter photos of me and like either I'm already wearing makeup or B I just look yellow like I just look I just get more yellow I look like a jaundice person walking around in the winter that's pretty much what I look like there's no rosiness and the whole vibe of this is like this pink cool tone pink and a lot of the girls are very fair so I'm like let's see what it will look like if I did that kind of look on my tan skin and see what's up so I was going through and I found I bought this sweet and shimmer um blush palette from Ulta I, I get I don't know there was some kind of sale and I picked this up and I thought this shade here would be cool I also found this Milani cream blush in blushing berry that I thought might work and then this is very bright I don't know if this will go but maybe this is a Jaclyn Cosmetics blush in Royal Flush and I was like mm. I feel like all the white girls <laughs> are doing like this color but I, that's a little cool tone for somebody as yellow as I am so I don't know we're gonna kind of just play with the makeup and see where it takes me but those are the ones that I'm gonna keep right in front of me and think about as I'm doing the rest of my complexion so the look really focuses on kind of like a matte foundation base and that's probably because the winter just sucks the life out of your skin and we're already kind of seeing a little bit of that here in Massachusetts I'm gonna first go in with my nor problem primer just because I like to minimize my pores and I feel like when you have a matte foundation sometimes it just accentuates any dryness your skin has not sometimes it does so I like something that's a little bit more slippery like silky silicone as a base when I'm using like a matte foundation I even like using a hydrating primer as well but if you are not into a hydrating primer then definitely something with a little bit of slip so that that matte foundation doesn't just cling to every dry patch on your face and then I'm gonna go in with my Lisa Eldridge seamless skin foundation in the shade 22 this kind of has like a soft focus finish to it and it's kind of like self-setting so I'm not gonna have to powder but I can if I want to so that's kind of nice and it has a very natural finish too so it kind of gives that no makeup makeup vibe I mean you can build it up to get a little bit more coverage if that's what you want but overall it just has a very natural finish and like 
more of a medium coverage. For concealer, I'm gonna go into something just very reliable. It's the Born This Way Concealer, and this one is in the shade Sand. I gotta start switching out all my products because my tan is practically gone. Hopefully this isn't too late. I could mix warm sand with it. I'm gonna add a little touch of warm sand just because I feel like I'm right in the middle of these two shades. And I just take the foundation brush and kind of blur the edges between the two so it can look a little bit more seamless. All right, to set my under eye, I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced powder. This, I think, is discontinued. It's the shade Medium. If you find this at like a TJ Maxx or something, definitely pick it up. I love this face palette. I feel like it's so underrated and now it's gone. And the center one is a soft focus powder. You can use it like as a finishing powder all over the face. I actually really like it for my under eyes. It's just like a very finely milled lightweight powder it has just a touch of color to it so it's not gonna like look crazy and it has a little bit of luminosity to it so I don't mind that under the eye I know some people don't love it but it brightens the under eye just a little it has just a touch of pearl so I think the skin looks great. It looks pretty matte. This foundation, like I don't have to set it. It pretty much is self setting. So I get that matte look. Now I know people are not using bronzer with this look because it's not summertime, but I need a little bit of bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with my, my ABH cream bronzer and this is in the shade uh, caramel. <laughs> And I'm just going to put a tad, like a very small amount. I'm going to take this uh, crown brush. I haven't used this brush in forever and I just started pulling it out and I was like, why don't I use this? It's actually a pretty good brush. It doesn't have a name or anything, but see, it just bronzes a little. It's very light, so I feel like if I put a little, it can't be too bad. My skin is brown anyway, so we're just going to go with that. For me, I'm kind of looking at my lips because my lips are naturally kind of colored. So I feel like something that would match my lips is going to be the best. I'm going to be a risk taker and I'm going to take a little bit of this blushing berry from Milani and then I'm going to layer this blush on top might be a mistake just a tad and I'm gonna really work it in because I don't want it to be too tacky when I put the other blush where it's gonna because my skin is just a little warmer than obviously somebody who's fair or light or light medium having that dull pink it looks cute but it's not realistic cold right put that on the nose and then work that in i almost feel like the shine that the nose gets and the tip from the blush is kind of realistic because when it's like cold like that i don't know your nose gets that shiny and redness to it but all right so there we go with that let's try this other blush i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of intimidated okay And I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit more than I did the cream one. So it kind of has like a gradient. And this is definitely like a little bit of that sunburnt kind of look, right? But it's more like wind chapped than sunburnt, right? That's the, <laughs> that's the vibe. We're gonna add a little this to the nose as well. I'm just gonna swipe 
whatever is left on the brush over my forehead. I do want to highlight and I'm going to do something icy. I was thinking of my little Charlotte Tilbury 5 minute face. I have the chic one and the glow, sh the chic glow stick in here is pretty icy. I get a lot of use of this in the summer surprisingly not as a highlighter but I like to do like a no makeup makeup look and use it on my lid and I'm probably gonna do that as well but I'm gonna use this as a highlighter first so I'm gonna take it on my finger and I'm gonna tap it on and I'm really gonna blend it in so it has that very natural like almost look at that and the more I tap it into I'm not gonna get like that cast because on my skin tone something icy will give me a great cast this doesn't because it has a very nice clear base to it but if you put it on too much it will still like those pearls too close together will create a cast so now we're gonna put it on the lid this is what I like to do again when I have like no makeup on I'm just leaving the house and I just want that extra something because it just catches the light ever so slightly on the lid and it just gives that really pretty wet look. Part of me I was like kind of surprised how icy it was when I got it in person. I was like oh I don't know how much I'm going to use this but as time gone on and I use it as a lid shade like this I love it more and more. I'm just gonna really put it on over. I do want to amp it up a little so I have this little Ace Beauté shadow in French Vanilla and it's a very metallic silver so I want to put that on the inner corner. I think that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna bring a little under the lower lash line. Kind of pretty like kind of sheared out too that looks fun we're gonna add some mascara and then i will come back with a lip all right so i went back and forth between a lot of lip products and i ended up just deciding to go with the essence extreme shine this is the volume volume lip gloss in the shade pretty and pink and i know it looks crazy pink but it is a gloss so it's sheer and my lips are very pigmented so it's not going to give it too much color just enough color i think um for this look you see just that little so you can still see my lip but it gives it a little bit of pink to it which i think will match the blush a bit more and i feel like i look crazy this looks like something I would have worn in the 2000s when I really didn't know anything about makeup. But we're going to put on a hat and see if we can pull off the vibe. So I know everybody's wearing like earmuffs and this and that. But like that is not the vibe that I wear in winter. So we got a couple options. These are the ones that I truly wear. So they're not going to be like cute or anything like that. So we got this one. I think she's cute. I love her. She keeps me warm. It covers my ears. It does the job. It has this cute little pom-pom on the top. All right. Cute. They're like cold. I do have some mittens that I actually wear. So they look a little rough. You see they're all like ragged. They're probably dirty with like old snow salt or something. But we're going to put this on, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to get my whole winter coat. That's like next level crazy. Honestly, I haven't brought my winter coat out yet to wear outside even. Do I look, do I look cold? All right, well, let's try out another hat, okay? So my other beanie, I got this from somebody I used to work with. It's from this brand called Melon, Love Your Melon. They're super cute. My husband steals it sometimes. Oh, this is definitely more like the vibe, I think, because of the color. Am I cold? <laughs> Thumbnails. All right. 
And then I had this polar bear one that I literally just got rid of because it got real disgusting. I need to get a new one. It like literally was fur. But this is another one I wear. Let's see how this looks. I feel like it's too red. But it's a legit hat that I wear when I'm cold. So it covers the ears and it has like this little fur line. It's from Target. This first hat's from Target too. And my gloss. My hair is sticking to the gloss. All right. How do I look? Do I look cold? Do you want to come and warm me up? I don't know. I feel like the other one. Let's let's end it with the other one. Oh, my hair is in my glass. Okay. I'm going to go with this one. Okay, for the sake of the video, this is the look. Can you see? A little. I like that it has this little hanging part. It looks cool. All right. This is the vibe. I'm not going to get my winter coat because I'm not going to the basement. People are crazy. <laughs> but this is the vibe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I think I nailed the blush for, like, my complexion. I can't do that, like, baby pink that much. But, like... Let me know. Let me know if this is awful. It was it was fun. We tried something new. Now I'm going to go show my six-year-old my, my cold girl makeup look. Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate you guys. Love you. Bye.